Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jeff Dix and this is the complete beginner's guide to fishing. This is an important episode because on top of the small spiny panfish and bass, uh, largemouth and smallmouth bass, I'm gonna show you how to handle northern pike. So, full disclosure, this pike has been dispatched. This is one that I harvested a couple days ago. So uh, a little bit of the rigor mortis is set in. But the, pro the concepts are the same. The way you hold um, a dispatched northern pike is the same way you hold a live one. So I'm gonna show you that. But before we get into how to hold them, I need to show you some important parts of this fish that you want to avoid with your fingers. So in case you've never seen the inside of the mouth of a northern pike, have a look at all those teeth. And they've got real sharp ones down here. Even the small ones are super sharp. So these teeth you want to avoid. Those are all teeth that they use to keep their prey in their mouths. You really don't want to have your fingers anywhere near those teeth. But when you're holding a pike properly, they're going to be kind of close. But if you're doing it right, there's no worries. Your fingers are safe. So I'm going to show you. Underneath a northern pike's jaw, these are the gills, right? So these are this part here is the gill plate. Now you'll notice these parts here, they've got some little spines at the back. You're not going to be touching those. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to make a shape like that with your hand. You're going to curl all your fingers in and your thumb's going to be out like that. And if you're doing it with your left hand, you're going to come in on the left side of the pike right underneath the gill plate. You're going to put your hand right here and then right up into this Y. And then I'll show you what it looks like with my fingers inside there. So when you're doing it right, your fingers will be right there, right, right here, right where my fingers are. There's no teeth, there's no gill, there's no gill rakers, nothing that could hurt me. And holding a pike like this gives you a really good grip. If that fish starts to thrash or, or um, you know, flick around or anything like that, you've got a really good grip on its mouth so you can control the head, which is where all the danger is, if you remember those teeth. The second part of handling a pike is you wanna make sure you're supporting the belly. It's okay to lift it out of the water, like by the gill plate like that, but you don't wanna hold the pike vertically like this for very long. It's really stressful on their bodies. Pike are super hardy fish, they can withstand a lot, but we don't wanna put any more stress on them than we need to, especially if we're gonna be releasing these fish. Obviously, this one came home. So, you hold them like this under the gill plate, and then you support the belly with your other hand, and then this makes for really nice, this looks way better in a picture anyways than a pike like hanging like this. Now the other part is if you are really, like if you just really don't want to get your hands anywhere near the mouth of a pike, which is totally understandable, you can use a pair of fish grips. I highly recommend you get a set like this with the flat uh, kind of plastic ones. You can use these ones. These ones work just fine, but it's, again, if you're going to be releasing these fish, these types of fish grips can be really harmful for the fish. So you see, if I'm using these kind of fish grips and I grab like that onto the jaw of a pike and he starts thrashing around, this thing is going to rip right through the bottom of his jaw. No problem. And, you know, and then he's going to be, that's going to upset them even more. So you want to do as little damage to these fish as possible, especially, like I said, if they're going to be released. So these fish grips have just a little bit of a flatter surface to them. The benefit of these grips is that you can see there's a, they're a lot wider. They've got a lot more surface area to grab on the fish, but you can clamp onto the bottom of a fish's lip. And this part here is often mistaken for a wrist strap. It's actually not a wrist strap. It's meant to go around the grip and you tighten that down. And that makes it really hard for a fish that's flopping around to try and break open this, uh, this vise here. So if you're using fish grips, the way you hold them, other than not having your hand in the, uh, in the gill plate, it's exactly the same. You're gonna hold that, let's get this paper off of here. I thought it would be a good idea, but it's just getting, it's just a terrible idea. All right, so the way you hold them with the fish grips, exactly the same as if you're using the gill hold method, but obviously you're holding onto the grips, your hands are safe, hand under the belly. Remember, this in a picture looks way cooler than this. 
aside from all the tools that you normally use to de-hook a fish, something that comes in handy with pike and uh, other members of the Esox family like musky and stuff, a good set of jaw spreaders. Because if you can see, this pike has a really deep mouth. So if you've got a lure all the way in the back, all the way back there, and you only have a short pair of pliers, and this guy is still alive, you see all those teeth? See what I'm getting at here? You wanna make sure you have a good pair of jaw spreaders and that you have a good control of this fish so you can get in there with your pliers and get that hook out. I also recommend, if you can, access whatever it is from underneath in the gills without touching the gills themselves with your tools, you can also try and unhook fish that way. But you never, 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 never want to have any part of your fingers or your hands inside the mouth of a pike, even one that's dead, but especially one that's still alive, because all these little teeth here will do some major damage. So the last thing I want to mention is the gill rakers for these northern pike. Okay, so inside the mouth of a northern pike looks a lot like most other fish, aside from all the teeth. But you see here, but you see these parts here? These parts here, right on their gills, are called gill rakers. And they have really, really sharp little kind of ridges on them. So if you're not careful, and you ra rake your knuckles over those, you're gonna get a real, uh, you're gonna get a real nasty surprise, because these things will cut through your skin like nobody's business. That's why when you're holding a pike, the right way, right? You got your fingers in here, and then you come up just like that. Away from the gill rakers, away from all the teeth. All right, everybody, that is the basics of how you handle a northern pike. I hope you learned something in this video. Remember, keep your fingers safe from these chompers because they'll do some real damage. If you like this video, if you're learning from the Complete Beginner's Guide to Fishing, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from the Complete Beginner's Guide and any of the other stuff that I do. Until next time, I'm going to get to filleting this guy up. I'll catch you in the next one.